ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Of all the outlaws who terrorized the Old West, perhaps none were so hated and feared as the hired killers, lone gunmen whose services were available to anyone with money enough to pay. One such killer was a 30-year-old ex-convict named Reno Lawrence, wanted for murder in half a dozen East Texas communities and with a $1,000 price on his head. Lawrence, in 1867, finally decided to ride further west on business. Unaware that his trail had been picked up by three men, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and their good friend, Marshal John Lawton. Well, it's as far as I'm able to go with you. My territorial jurisdiction ends here. Well, thanks, Marshal, for all your help. I only wish I could have done more. Now that Lawrence has gotten out of Texas, I'm afraid he's going to be very difficult to track down. Him not known for the West, Marshal? Well, to tell the truth, he's not even too well known here in my district. We just received the handbills on him here in Rockville a few days before you two rode in. Strange, he'd head this way instead of towards Mexico. Not so strange if someone near here is about his services. Well, mister, I sure hope you catch him before he ruins any more lives. We'll do our best. is still warm, Kimisabe. Yes, Tano. Lawrence can't be far ahead now. Town of Painted Post, only a few miles away. You think him go there? I'm almost... Tano, take cover! All right, that was a warning. The next time, I'll aim at your heads. Lawrence, Kimisabe? No. Look. Did you hear me? Get off of this property! What we do, Kimisabe? Start firing. Distract his attention. I'll circle around behind him. Hold it, fella. What? I drop your gun. Masked. So they finally decided to send a professional killer after me, huh? The friendly West. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get it over with. Go ahead and shoot. I have no intention of shooting. What? What's your name, young fellow? Jim Sage. A moment ago, you were ready to believe I was a professional killer. I'd like to know why. Mister, I don't know what your game is, and I don't much care. All I want is to be left alone. There's no reason why you should be interested in me. There may be. You see, I've always been interested in order and justice in the West. Justice? <laughs> I've almost forgotten there was such a word. Why do you say that? Because it's been a long time since I've seen it practiced. At least in this part of the country. Look out there, mister. That's my piece of property. I settled here six months ago. It looks like good land. Good? It's better than that. It's black as night under the plow. New and fresh. But the cattlemen say it's reserved for grazing. They say they don't want any farmers here. So that's it. That's it. Even the acting sheriff and painted post advised me to leave. Well, I'm not leaving. If I have to kill to protect my rights, then I'll kill. I got some fence posts to put up. I'll thank you to get off my property. All right, Jim. Tonto, his gun. Him, plenty better young man in Kimisani. If he's telling the truth, he has reason to be bitter. I hate to see this misunderstanding between cattlemen and farmers. There should be room enough in the West for both. Now, this bad place for a man like Rena Lawrence to come. You think cattlemen send for him? Well, I hope not, Tonto. And yet Painted Post is the only town within miles. And Lawrence's tracks have been heading this way for hours. You'd better ride into town and see what you can learn. I'm not known there and my mask would cause too many questions. I'll be camped in the woods north of here. Ah, uh, me meet you there. Meanwhile, in painted post, Clyde Norton, leader and spokesman for the cattlemen in the area, was entering the office of acting sheriff Charlie Park. 
Mark, when are you going to start exerting a little authority around here? Now, listen, Clyde. You listen. I just been over to see Ray Kelly at the Lee ZM Ranch. He tells me Jim Sage has begun using barbed wire around his place. Do you realize what that stuff does to a horse or cow running into it? It's Sage's land. I can't stop him from fencing it. When the last sheriff died, you were appointed to protect the rights of the people, and your people happen to be the cattlemen. There must be some legal way of getting Sage out of here. If he's allowed to stay, more homesteaders will come flocking in, and that'll be the end of the open range. Well, I'll study the situation some more. Study the situation? Yeah. Well, you better study mighty hard, mister, between now and next month's election. Because if Sage isn't gone by then, I can promise you, there won't be a man in this town who will give you his vote. Think it over. Come on, Mr. Norton. What laughing boy have in his mind? Same thing he's had on his mind for the last six months. Jim Sage. The ranchers aren't kidding anymore. Either Sage goes or I go. And what happens to your big plans then? Catastrophe. What's the matter with you, Tarbuck? You got me into this job. It wasn't hard. Nobody else wanted it. You seem to think it was important enough. It is. You control the law, Charlie, and you control the land. With you as sheriff and me as deputy, we can bleed this territory dry. So long as nobody finds out about our past activities. Can't you get it through your head that we won't be controlling anything around here if I lose that election next month? Who said you'd lose? Norton. Charlie. What would you think if I told you I had the answer to the whole Sage problem sitting in the hotel across the street? What are you talking about? Come on. I want you to meet somebody. No, no. And look. one thing. When we get there, keep your mouth shut. Don't object to anything I say. You understand? But... You understand, Charlie? Sure. Friend of mine. Mm hmm. Since when do you uh, associate with a sheriff? Since I've been a sheriff's deputy. Reno Lawrence, Charlie Parks. Reno Lawrence? Yes, sir, Charlie. I guess I know Reno better than any man alive. We used to ride in the same gang together. Then I left Texas and Reno headed off on his own. Everybody else in the gang is dead. All right, all right. Cut it, Tarbuck. I didn't come this far to talk. I uh, understand you have a job for me. Same old Reno. All right. It's a fellow I want out of the way. A man named Jim Sage. You know, funny thing. I must be getting deaf. I, uh, I didn't hear you say anything about money. 500 now, 500 when Sage is dead. All right, where do I find him? Here's a map. Sage's place is a mile or so out of town. It's nearly noon now. He breaks off for dinner at 12. Afterwards, he generally lies down for a while. Come back here for the other 500 when you're through. I will, Tarbuck. I will. Have you lost your mind? If Sage is found dead, the ranchers around here are bound to be honest enough to ask for an investigation, and then what? Charlie, I've just arranged for a murder. But I'm quite sure it won't be Sage's. What? You and I, my friend, are about to take a little trip. A shortcut to the farm. We'll be there when Reno rides up and we'll gun him down on Sage's property. Look. Maybe you've got your reasons for wanting Lawrence shot, but... I have, Charlie. You see, he's the last one alive that knows I ever operated in Texas. But what about Sage? If he hasn't run out before the election... Look, everybody knows that Jim Sage has been real wild with a gun lately, right? Right, but... Right, now, what do you suppose the ranchers will do when you and I report to them that Sage has finally killed a man? They'll lynch him. The, the problem will be out of our hands. Yeah. There he goes. Well, engine? Uh, me sorry. Me make mistake. 
Huh? Forget about him. Let's get out to the stage place. Me learn about something plenty strange in town. What do you mean strange? Me see Rena Lawrence, but me think him friends with deputy and sheriff. What? Deputy looked familiar. You remember outlaw in Texas many years ago, him named Joe Tarbuck? The cattle thief? Yes, I remember him very well. Him talk to sheriff. Me hear him say them go to Sage Place. We better get out there at once. Come on, Tonham. Somebody, mister? All right, Charlie, get down there. I'll get down to town and spread the word that Sage has killed a man. Take it easy, mister. You'll be all right. Get your hands up, Sage. Well, you've been mighty quick with a gun lately, haven't you? I didn't shoot him. What kind of a frame is this? Frame? We asked you to clear out, Sage. We were real polite about it. Who are you? Drop your gun, mister. Now you get him up, Park. Keep him covered, Jim. Him hurt bad, Jim Sammy. He's still breathing. It looks like a rifle wound. Jim, do you own a rifle? I never had one in my life. You know who shot you? Got an idea. Park, the tarbuck. He's out of his head. He didn't see. Didn't see what, Park? It sounded like the shot came from those rocks, mister. Tarbuck may have decided to go into town. Even if he didn't, there'll be fresh tracks to guide you. Try to stop him. Me do that, Kimasami. Park, take his shoulders. And do it gently. We'll take him inside. Get his hat. Yeah. Yes, Tarbuck, what is it? The sheriff and me, we were riding past the Sage place and we heard a shot. When we got there, we found out Sage had killed a man, some stranger. Killed a man? Are you sure? The sheriff's out there now, Mr. Kelly, holding him. He's already confessed. Why, the dirty low-down polecat. Well, it's our own fault for letting the nester settle here in the first place. I say let's teach him a lesson. Let's string him up to one of his own trees. Now, wait a minute, Ray. Hey, whose side are you on, the nester's? Hey, Larry, come with me. Bring your rope. You come with me. In case you ride out and tell the other ranchers what's going on. You listen. Beat it, engine. Say Sage guilty of murder. Lynch mob come here. A lynch mob? Ah. I'm sure those men are essentially honest. When they hear the truth, they're... The truth? And who will they believe? A homesteader? A man wearing a mask? I think they'll believe Marshal John Lawton. Lawton? The Marshal of in Rockville? Ah. 
Carlo, I'd like you to see the Marshal Lawton gets this as soon as possible. What you do, Kimazabe? I'll stay here with Jim. Mister, uh, I don't get this. If they find you here, they're going to string you up, too. Why are you sticking your neck out for me? You don't owe me anything. I told you once before, Jim, I was interested in justice. I meant it. But we haven't got a chance. Maybe not. But Lawrence is still alive. He'll be able to testify that you didn't shoot him. That's right. Kelly, get that engine! Dead. What's going on here? A sage and some who friend of his have got the sheriff inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Does that answer your question? You men out there, listen to reason. Jim Sage has committed no crime. What about murder? Or don't you consider that a crime? The man Sage was supposed to have murdered was shot with a rifle. Sage doesn't own a rifle. Furthermore, the man is still alive. Now throw down your guns. We'll let you talk to him. He'll tell you Sage is innocent. Well? What do you think? Maybe we should... You plumb loco. That's the oldest trick in the business. All you'll get to examine is a bullet in your own stomach. Well, what's your answer? This, mister! We can't keep this up much longer, mister. What happened to that friend of yours? I don't know. Just one more bullet, mister. How about you? Just one, Jim. Sun's going down soon. Rockville isn't that far. Your friend isn't coming back. We'll make one last attempt to get them to listen to Lawrence. I wouldn't bother if I were you. Well? He's dead. Well, that does it. That was our last chance. They'll probably try to rush the house soon. Yeah. Mister, no matter what happens, I want you to know I'm mighty proud to have known you. Same goes for me, Jim. Kind of quiet in there, isn't it? You think they're finally out of ammunition? Yeah. Let's take them. Get away from that door. Hold it. It's Marshal Lawton. Hello. Be sorry, Kimisabe. Have a hard time finding Marshal. I got your note, mister, and I also brought the handbills you wanted. Look, Marshal, there's been a murder here. That's right. I suppose you let the Marshal identify the dead man for you. Marshal, he's inside. Yep, that's Reno Lawrence. Who's Reno Lawrence? Hired killer that's been wanted by the authorities for a long time. Whoever shot him's in line for quite a reward. You mean, even if Sage killed him, he was within his rights? That's exactly what I mean. And we might have lynched him. You're the law. Why didn't you investigate a little more carefully? Why didn't you bring Sage in instead of getting us riled up about him? You're through here, Tarbuck. And the same goes for you, Park. Now, wait a minute. So we're through. Marshal, how much does that reward come to? One thousand dollars. All right, make it payable to Joe Tarbuck, because I killed Lawrence. What? Not so fast, Tarbuck. I was in on this thing. Marshal? I think you brought a few handbills with you. That's right, mister. Mr. Norton, take a look at these. Joe Turbuck. Wanted in Texas for cattle rustling. And here's another one on Park. Cattle thieves. The worst kind of crook. So that's what we had for Lawman. <laughs>
mister. Thanks to you and Tonto, I doubt if there'll ever be a lynch mob for him again at Painted Post. There won't if I have anything to do with it, Marshal. Sage, I, I know it's small comfort, but I want to apologize on behalf of all the cattlemen. We tried to convict an innocent man on hearsay. There's no justice in that. I guess I made a few mistakes myself, Mr. Norton. But I think I've learned a few things about cooperation. It's a mighty important word. No, I don't suppose the ranchers could stop migration to the West, even if they really wanted to. That's right, Mr. Norton. Everyone's entitled to his own way of life. Confirm the right of man to own property, and to do with it as he chooses, and you'll give your children a real heritage. Well, it's time for Tano and me to be on our way. Good luck in the election for sheriff next month. I know you'll choose a good man this time. Adios, Adios, Mr. Adios, Adios stranger. There's the man I'd like to see as sheriff. You know, I fought side by side with him, and I, I don't even know his name. Don't you, Jim? You should. He is the Lone Ranger. I don't see 